Hello and welcome to the first in a series of basic Photoshop tutorials designed for beginners of Photoshop. Um, these, tutorials are, these tutorials are designed to help you um, create the desired effect in Photoshop CS3 using the simplest uh, techniques possible um, with the simplest methods possible. I've noticed lately there's been a lot of uh, tutorials on the internet that are quite good however they do tend to complicate things and a lot of them do miss some simple steps so um, the, for this first tutorial we're going to do uh, glossy buttons um, or web 2.0 icons or glass buttons depending on who you ask okay so the first thing we're going to do is to go to file new and create a new document um, using the default Photoshop size and hit OK on that one all right, so you'll, you're brought, you, it'll bring you to this screen immediately, and you'll have the background set up. That's layer is locked, but don't worry about that for now. Okay, next thing we're going to do is to create our button, or whatever it is that you're creating at the time. We're going to go ahead and select the rounded rectangle tool. All right, and that's simply holding down left mouse and selecting the rounded rectangle tool from the toolbar on the left side. Next thing we're going to do is make sure that the shape layer selection is on, and not the paths. Um, otherwise you will be completely lost and make sure your radius is set about 10 pixels that just rounds the corner of your rectangle um, and hence the rounded rectangle tool okay first and now we're going to go ahead and draw our shape so just hold down the left mouse button and drag it out okay drag it out to be about that far now you'll notice it's white um, I accidentally have my foreground set as white so I'm gonna go ahead and double click the white layer thumbnail that brings up my color palette and I'm just gonna make it black which is usually the default setting in the foreground and background settings down here at the bottom of the toolbar so once I have my shape set up properly um, I'm gonna go ahead and select that shape with the marquee tool so simply what we're going to do is not come over to the marquee tool on the left side but to over the thumb uh, layer thumbnail we're gonna hold control and you'll see your um, your mouse icon change as well and you'll see a little bit of a, a marquee come up over top of the hand so control and left click and like we were just saying that um, sets up our marquee around our shape layer um, and that essentially keeps everything that we do inside that shape next thing we're going to do is cut that in half so we're going to come up to rectangle marquee tool and again that's just holding down the left mouse button and selecting the rectangle marquee holding down alt at the same time as clicking the left left mouse button we're gonna drag the marquee up about halfway um, to our already selected marquee and just let go and you'll notice that our, our selected marquee around our shape layer <coughs> has changed into about a half of that marquee that we originally started with then next thing we're going to do is to go to select modify and contract this is what what this will do is contract the marquee around our shape layer so that it gives you a nice little edge around the entire shape layer again adding to a little bit of the realism the contract we're gonna make three pixels so if, if it's not already three just just type it in three pixels and hit OK and you're left with this little bit of a border around your marquee tool okay next thing we're going to do is to create a new layer just come down to the bottom of your layer palette area here and uh, click on the create a new layer tool which is beside the delete layer tool or delete layer button so click the create a new layer button and that creates a new layer as you see in, in your in your layers palette here um, if that if that options not there which I doubt it would ever not be there but it should be there um, go to layer and new and click new layer that's just another way of doing it uh, okay once that that layer has been created let's just rename it it's a good habit to get into so we're gonna name it gloss uh, just gloss all right so once that's renamed reselect it and uh, we're gonna go ahead and select the gradient tool now and once we have the gradient tool selected again left mouse hold down select gradient tool and come up to your color palette which is at the top of your screen here you'll, you'll notice the options change every time you click a new tool um, so come up to the layer or the um, tool options and click the foreground to transparent option okay and hit OK and we want to make sure that that the um, foreground to transparent is white to transparent 
So all you simply do is come down to the bottom of your toolbar and make sure that your foreground color is set to white. So double click whatever color it is, in this case it's black, left mouse click anywhere inside of the color palette and drag up to the top left corner which is white. Okay, and hit OK. So now we have white to transparent as our gloss. Um, we're going to make sure we have the gradient tool again selected and layer gloss selected as well. Come to the top of the shape layer, hold down shift and the left mouse key and drag just below the marquee tool there. Okay. Um, now sometimes you're not happy with the desired effect like I'm not really not happy with what that looks like. I think it needs to be a little heavier. So we're going to back out of that by pressing Control Z. And again, that gets rid of what we've just done. And we're going to redo that. So holding down Shift and the left mouse button, again, just above the shape layer, drag down a tad and just a little farther down this time. And that looks a little better. All right, so to get rid of the marquee, just hit Control and D. So you'll notice that there's a bit of a glossy effect happening now. Um, so in order to to make it actually look glossy, we really need something behind it or some sort of effect behind it. So in this case, we're going to put some text inside the button itself. So just click on the type tool um, and make sure it's the horizontal type tool. So again, that's the simple thing to do is left click, hold down horizontal type tool selection um, and click anywhere inside the, the uh, shape one. And so there we go. So it's it's selected already. So just go ahead and type whatever you'd like. So in this case, I'm going to put tutorial. Once you have that where you want it and um, what you want to have typed in there, just go ahead and click the apply button, which is the check mark at the top of your option screen at the moment. Okay. Um, the I find that the best text to use is a heavier text. So in this case, I used Arial Black, and I made it a little larger, which is uh, 48 point. Um, it doesn't matter really, um, but to be honest with you, the best effect would be the heavier text. So next thing we're going to do is you notice I click the move tool, which is again is on in your it's the first one in your toolbar, and you'll notice that these dotted lines and boxes show up around your text. I personally don't like working with those, um, so in order to get rid of those or turn them on, you just simply come up to tr show transform controls, make sure that the box is checked or unchecked, and you'll notice that it goes away um, once I've checked it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, now once those are gone, we're going to go ahead and change the color of the uh, tutorial text. So simply click on your text layer, which um, you do by double clicking over the T. Make sure you do it over the T and not over the tutorial or whatever it is you've written. Um, and you'll notice it's highlighted now. Go up to the top of the um, tool options and select the um, text color. And we're going to go ahead and change the color to a green. Let's just go right about there. You can use whatever color you want. This is entirely up to you. And then click the apply button, again the check mark button. So you'll notice that um, the color has changed a bit. Um, and we have a little bit of a, um, a problem, however, and the gloss is still underneath. So what we need to do in order to correct that is to left click on the layer, um, the text layer, and uh, hold it down, hold down left click, and drag it underneath the gloss layer. Okay, And notice that the gloss is now on top of the text, um, and that it, the, the gloss effect is showing through. And that's pretty much the basic um, for the gloss tutorial. Once you um, get into a more advanced um, option, you could create something that looks a little bit like like this, for example. You have the tutorial and a little bit of a glow, and the you'll notice that the gloss is uh, at a different at an angle. And we'll get into that more in the series. But for now, um, thanks for joining in. And uh, I hope that you uh, enjoy these tutorials and get something out of them and uh, look for more to come uh, shortly. Thank you.